Hey, thanks for watching. You know, I don't like to make the videos longer than three minutes because I value your time. So here's the rest of the interview with my daughters, Lorraine and Dominique. All right, well, I have my girls back and I'm just gonna go probably another minute or so. I don't like to make YouTube too long. Girls, uh, Lorraine, for the girls that act like that, in the, so you're in the eighth grade right now, but in the sixth grade, you and I were head to head, toe to toe. I mean, we had some major attitude problems from you which caused attitude problems to me. How do we work through that and progress into what I would call a great relationship? Now, I am the mother, yet we do have a great relationship. What happened? Well, we started doing, um, I do not like it when, I will, how can I fix it? We started doing things that, we, we basically started compromising. How can we help the other person? How can we not have attitudes? We basically started setting goals each and every day. Like my goal would be not to have an attitude or mom's goal would be to be a better parent or our goals were to be not to get mad so easy, I should say. But we started goal setting and trying to get there. So we, when we start trying, so we start succeeding. Good. Yeah, we did work together. She had major attitudes and yet I did practice better parenting, more communication, better patience, and really trying to see her point of view. You know, they're changing and developing. Now, Dominique, um, when we were talking about, again, the, the kids that go wild, I mean, there are things within the house that I ask you to do, and sometimes you don't do them well, and sometimes you do. Yet, we still have a great relationship. How do we maintain our relationship as mother and daughter? Um, I personally think that it comes naturally for me, but... Yeah, with me and my mom do get in a real fast, but I always been a mommy's girl, but if you're not actually a mommy's girl, um, you could develop a good relationship by just bonding with each other more. Like, my mom takes me some little dates and stuff like that. Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah. Let's talk, let's talk about that real quick, about the little dates. The little dates that we do. Mm -hmm. Well, they're really fun. Mom chooses one week and takes one of us out, so there she doesn't have to spend any attention on the other siblings. So she takes one of one of us out, and she focuses on just one of us, and she talks to us. She gets to know us better. It's basically like a date, but we go to our favorite restaurant, our favorite Dairy Queen, our favorite dessert place, or we could just go skating or something like that. But anything we could do that's fun, but at the same time can build up the family bonding is good. Dominique, what do you feel about those dates that we go on? What do you like about them? Um, I like that I get to bond and talk to my mom without my other siblings around. Um, what else do I like? Um, I like how like she lets us choose where we're going and just like how we just, you know, get to bond with each other. It's just kind of how she makes it all about me. Hey, thanks for watching. You know, I don't like to make the videos longer than three minutes because I value your time. So 